and still spicy, but she's out on her own. Melody C. Next up, Drew Carey star, Craig Ferguson, Fergie's. Although you probably know her best from her previous line of work, my first guest is also a successful solo artist. Her debut CD, Northern Lights, is in stores now. You cannot spell girl power without Melanie C. There she is. How you doing? Oh, what are you gonna do? My CD's called Love and Star. Oh, what did I say? Love and Lights. Okay. Uh, by the way, big CD here. It's called Northern <laughs> Star, as opposed to. Some of the young people like to call it Northern Lights, but it's actually called Northern Star. I was in the uh, Tower Records looking for an hour and a half for Northern Lights. And, and <laughs> That's why it's not selling. I'm only old, joking it is. <laughs> got an old Peter Allen CD is what I ended up with. Uh, how does it feel to be solo? Is it exciting? Um, it is, actually. Um, it's nice, you know, we're all doing different things, going off on our own, and it's... Um, you being the, sp the different girls, the different Spice Girls, yeah, going off the other different... spices. Does how does didn't Ginger Ginger Spice did she do a CD a solo? Yeah. How did it do? It didn't do well, did it? Um, I don't think it done as well as you'd liked it to. Right, right. <laughs> but she, well, she's being honest. honest you know, uh, it did. It didn't do well. It. it, it, it it's done okay, it, but it, you know, it, I think people expected more. I think I think it sucked. I think is what they said. <laughs> Who, who named, no, <laughs> who named, who named you, you, you guys? My mother and father. Okay. <laughs> Melanie? No, you Melanie's, mean the nicknames. The nicknames for the, the Spice nicknames. Girls. They came from um, a kid's magazine in the UK, and, you know, they, they just sort of made a joke one day and done these little caricatures of us, and, you know, they stuck ever since. Oh, okay, so you guys didn't name it, you didn't no. say, I'm Sporty Spice. No. You ever? You, uh, you don't do. You don't say I'm sporty spice. No. <laughs> I think you know. We thought they were a bit of fun, so we, we embrace them and we play up to them. You know, it's a bit of fun. Yeah, uh, you're you're addicted to the uh, the British uh, the tabloids over there. Addicted. You to like the them a lot. I hate them. Oh, you hate them. Yeah, they suck. I thought they said you're. <laughs> you're not. You're not into reading that stuff. Do you ever? I, like, I tell you what. I like to read it to see what they're saying about me or to see who I'm sleeping with. Right. Because <laughs> they know before I do. Yeah. Does, uh, have you ever read the American, uh, the American ones? I've seen them, but yours aren't taken seriously, are they? You see, that's the problem. That's right, yours are taken seriously. Yeah, yeah it's like, like it's the gospel. Yeah, your, mm -hmm. your tabloids are like tabloids. Our tabloids are the National Daily Newspaper. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> it's silly. Have you ever heard of the National Enquirer? Yes. Because I cannot stand, this is what, we've met, we've never met until tonight, right? Mm hmm Look at what, this is the Enquirer. <laughs> they have Chelsea here, Chelsea Clinton. And then look up on the top of the Enquirer, it says Mel C and CK caught in late night love nest. <laughs> now, I we have not met until tonight. I mean, this this could happen, but it has not happened <laughs> at this point. Mm. And I just I think burn the, do not buy or read those things. Burn those things. Okay, <laughs> terrible. Uh, you want to talk about the tattoos or, or not? I mean, it's it's the pro athletes over here. They all have tattoos and they don't stop. Is there ever a point where you stop at a certain number? Well, I thought that at about tattoo number four, but, but you just get you know an idea for another one. And once the seed's been planted, it just right. has to be done. Is it four or four? Four. Number four. Number. F what do you mean? The I way you say it. I just. Four. I love. I four. am addicted. I'm an Anglophile. I love the accents. I just love. <laughs> So, um, uh, so how many do you have now? Seven. Okay. I promised the young people we'd see six. Is that even... I heard you. Yeah, is that possible? <laughs> where, where is girl power? Is there one that says girl power? No? Uh, well, sort of. Uh -huh. This says woman and strength, which is like strong woman. Yeah, this, this, this is woman. 
This is woman, and this is strength, right? No, the way around. The, yeah, right. This is woman. Woman strength. And what is that? Is that uh, what symbols are those? They they are the same in Chinese and Japanese. Oh, I see. This is actually the Japanese way of writing it, but they're the mm -hmm. same characters. Okay. This is this is a type of barbed wire. This is a. Um, <laughs> that's very popular. This is a Celtic. Um, oh, and the Celtic yeah, thing, yeah. Rounds, yeah. So you're a big Larry Bird fan, Celtic Pride. Who's that? He's, he plays for the Celtics. He used to play for the Celtics. Okay. Uh, this is the um, Celtic Cross. Celtic Cross. <laughs> Where is the uh, the the angel? I uh, this is... I said shoot it around. Sure, there you go. There, yeah. Okay. That's good. I shouldn't have went like that. Now that would have been less embarrassing. It's there. Yeah, it's on that picture too. Um, and then the Chinese dragon. Oh, that's a new one. You see, I knew I should have shaved. Yeah. Ooh, that's on me, isn't that's it? That's fine. That one. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That's the latest. That's I, a new I one. think that's it, except for is there such a thing as a lotus flower? Yeah. Now, we're, now we're getting a bit, you know. Yeah, go, I guess, yeah, right over here, camera one would be kind of fun here. I think if we zoom. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Hey. It sounds like a firework display. Yeah, do they do that here too? Yeah. In England, they go, ooh, yeah. ah, ooh. That was, that was, that was just a, that's how you interview someone. Just say, show me, show me, show me. Did we see seven or six? I think we saw most Seven's of them. Seven's over here, but I might get my, you know, thingies. They might fall out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. They do say. I'll show you that later. Okay. I don't uh, you remember from the other night. They had the love nest. They had the love nest. Uh, so the, the big story. They tell me, and the, the critics say that of the Spice Girls, you have the best singing voice. <laughs> Is uh, I don't know if you can comment on that. I can comment on that. I say thank you. That's very flattering. But you know, when it comes to singing. It's personal choice. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like my voice, some people don't. You know, everyone's got their own favorite Spice Girl. So you, you, there wasn't too much competition? Or did they, did they say, oh, no, definitely you have the best singing no, voice? No, no, no. You know, we, we can all sing. It just depends, you know, who you prefer. Yeah. I wonder, uh, there's no way you'd sing for us today, is there? <laughs> You want this? You want that? All right. Okay. I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Rarely do come true we'll right back after this. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the